Library Thing Early Reviewers is a program in which you can request new and upcoming books. If you receive these books, you're expected to post timely and honest reviews of them. I've gone through the Early Reviewers batch for May 2022, and I'm now going to tell you which ones look the most interesting to me. I'm not necessarily going to request them for myself, but if you're looking for some free books and are willing to post reviews of them, you might want to check these out. There's a lot of interesting books in the May 2022 batch. Of the 139 books this month, 14 of them caught my attention. I'm going to first go through the ones for which physical copies are available. The physical copies are much more sought after and therefore harder to get than the electronic books. But I'll also mention a couple of electronic offerings. Book one is Space Story, a graphic novel about two women who fall in love and start a family on dying Earth. One of them escapes to space. Can the family ever reunite? Book two is Awe by Becky Manawatu. This book is about the struggles of two Maori orphans. It's already a critical and commercial success in New Zealand. Book three is A Trillion Trees, Restoring Our Forests by Trusting in Nature. This book is about the worldwide problem of forest destruction, what those forests mean to their local communities and what those communities are doing to restore them. Book four is a suitable companion for the end of your life, an absurdist dystopian novel in which to deal with a worldwide outbreak of parasitic infections, people are flat packed like pieces of Ikea furniture. Book five is the carbon footprint of everything, which can help you calculate your carbon footprint, taking into account recent developments such as cryptocurrency, and changes in the global supply chain. Book six is A Visit to Moscow, which is inspired by the story of an American rabbi who traveled to the Soviet Union in 1965 to investigate the persecution of Jews there. Book seven is Are We Ever Our Own? This book is about women who don't know each other but belong to the same family. In Cuba and the United States, they face their own unlikely struggles and wonder what, if anything, belongs to them. Book eight is The Mystic Hand, How Central Banks Shaped the 21st Century Global Economy. This book is about how central bankers have manipulated the economy, causing the Great Depression and the 2008 global financial crisis. We're all affected by the actions of central bankers, but few of us understand how. Book nine is What Goes Unsaid, a memoir of fathers who, were ne who never were. This is about several generations of fathers who struggled to survive in or escape from the patriarchal culture of Mexico. Book 10 is Buddha was a cowboy. This is a satirical novel about a Hollywood screenwriter who becomes a professor at a progressive university in Wyoming and is forced to fight a, in a culture war with the help of his weird students. Book 11 is Ellie Uncomposed, an operatic novel. This is about a pianist who gets trapped in an alternate dimension and becomes a character in a real life version of Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro. But this version doesn't follow the script at all. So she has to set things right in order to get back to her own reality. Book 12 is The Sultana Odyssey. This is a fictional account of a little known incident that happened just days after Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. A steamboat, a steamboat on the Mississippi River carrying over 2,000 passengers, even though it was designed for only 400, exploded due to faulty boilers. About 1,600 people died, making it the worst maritime disaster in US history. 
those are my picks from the physical copies of books from this batch. But there are also electronic books, which are a lot easier to get. The next two books are the electronic ones that interest me. Book 13 is Interview with the Sphinx. This is a one hour comedic audio play in which the Sphinx is interviewed and comes off as a modern celebrity pop diva. Since it's just an hour long, this looks like an easy way to build up your review cred in the early reviewers program. Although to listen to this book, you'll have to use a coupon code on a website called PayHip or use a mobile app called Authors Direct. My 14th and final pick is Bullets and Bandages, Bond of Brothers. This is an audiobook that's seven and a half hours in length. It's a fictional story inspired by the words of a U.S. Army field medic who served in the Vietnam War. That concludes my picks from, audio, from Library Think Early Reviewers for May 2022. You have until May 30, 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time to request books from this batch. I hope this video helps you in your selections. Good luck.